Mom, guess what? What's up? We were in the woods playing follow the leader on our bikes. Ooh, that sounds fun. And we saw a Sasquatch family drinking Capri Sun. Okay, a Sasquatch family drinking Capri Sun. Yeah, and we all went, ah! And they all went, ah! And then we were all like, ah! Right. It was so epic. Capri Sun, it's gonna be epic. At Boost Mobile, passion and determination fuel what it means to get after it. That's why they've built their offers, keeping in mind those who go the extra mile. Boost Mobile is partnered with champions from across the nation to empower you with devices and service that won't break the bank. Join Boost Mobile and get after it. Switch to Boost Mobile now and get a free Samsung Galaxy A23 5G phone powered by America's largest 5G networks. See offer details at BoostMobile.com. Terms and conditions apply. Who hasn't heard tales like coffee stunt your growth? Surprise, it's only an old tale made up for someone who preferred tea. And what about electric cars? Kind of boring, long time to charge, unreliable. The all-electric Hyundai Ioniq lineup is here to debunk those myths. With a -a one-of-a-kind design, ultra-fast charging from 10 to 80% in as little as 18 minutes, and America's best warranty, isn't it time to stop believing old tales? When it comes to debunking myths, Hyundai is thinking of every mile. Hyundai, it's your journey. Second date update. You know on dating apps now, where the average decent-looking woman gets 2,000 matches per day? Yeah. And that's like 2,000 guys messaging her and complimenting her, and trying to take her out. It's more important than ever for guys to be creative and witty yes. when they're talking. Or at least yeah. Google something creative and witty and then copy that like it's yours. So it's like, hi, how are you? Not enough. Or... Boo, you're okay, getting blocked. Yeah, no, Stop. that's creepy nowadays, Stop. Brooke. Yeah, yeah, no. All lowercase letters. Ew. Yeah. Gross. <laughs> but that's exactly what happened to one of our listeners, May, recently when she matched with a guy online named Doug. And their conversation apparently got pretty interesting. Oh, that's cool. But his first line was just straight up asking her out. And May, what did you immediately notice from Doug's dating profile? Well, there was a couple funny things on his profile. One of his pictures, he had a woman in it. Which oh. Would, I mean, oh. Yeah. Oh. Bold? That's a bold thing Not to a put on idea. a dating app. Yeah. Yeah, like a, a woman his age or like a mom type of person? No, it seemed like like maybe a girlfriend. Or... Oh, no. Oh. I see girls okay. that do this, too. And it always, I always swipe left. I'm like, why would your main profile be you and some guy? I don't know. Yeah. To, to prove Sometimes that you can a... actually go out with someone? Yeah. So what did you write back when you saw that there's another woman in his pictures? Yeah. Uh, I frankly said, is your girlfriend going to be okay with this? Oh. Is your girlfriend going to? Okay. I can't believe you still wrote him back, you know, yeah. but like, okay. I'll give him I mean, a little sass back. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, it's good to call somebody out, too. Yeah. And be like, hey, you know, idiot. Did he have a response? Yeah, he responded that he doesn't have a girlfriend. Okay. Oh. Who is well, so did he? I would believe him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, that's a good point, yeah. Jeffrey. Yeah. Just trust, Super trustworthy. Trust whatever yeah. guys say online yeah. all the time. Mm-hmm. Trust the internet stranger. Yeah. <laughs> so who was the woman? What did he say she was? Yeah, what was the explanation? Right. So I obviously asked, who's this woman in the photo? And he responds, oh, that's my wife, but we're just friends with a laughing emoji. Oh, <laughs> what? That's so funny. Okay. Wait, so, Brooke, wait, okay. Is Brooke, this is a joke. Oh, Alexis. I didn't get it. It's called yes, sarcasm. It's called humor and sarcasm. He oh, doubled down. You don't have to down. Like, okay, it's so, so demeaning. Like, so like so don't funny. even. That's All so right. annoying. And May, were you demeaned oh, by that or did you think it was funny? No, I thought it was funny. I obviously knew it was a joke. Oh, he didn't uh, mansplain uh, the joke after <laughs> he said it? So we have to do yeah. a lot with well, So okay. that's cool, though. So you guys are on the same page. Yeah, I really liked his humor. Okay. And he did this other thing that I thought was really funny, too, is, you know, he was telling me that dating apps are really hard for guys. And in his experience, it's been tough. Yeah. That hmm. he's ghosted so many times. Sorry, did you say that he's been ghosted or he has ghosted other people? He said that he's been ghosted. Oh, Uh, okay. But he really meant both. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, it's kind of a two way street. He sent me a photo of him at a table by himself laughing and said, at this point, he's started dating actual ghosts. 
Oh, oh. It's a little bit of a red flag. But, I mean, it's funny. I think he's just kidding. Well, yeah. he's, he's being self-deprecating, yeah. saying, like, see, nobody wants to go out but with it's, me. It's a yeah. dangerous area to tread because at some point it will start to make you look kind of sad yeah. and yeah. pathetic, yeah. right? At mm-hmm. some point, like, it's not funny anymore. You right. know, how hard you go into Look how many that. people showed up to my birthday yeah. party. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nobody. Uh, I'm alone. Brooke just helped me realize it's probably my problem. Yeah. Yeah. I just never let down. You just make fun of yourself a little too much. Yeah. Yeah. But you didn't feel that way, May? You felt like he was just doing just enough to be humorous? Yeah. I mean, you have to get somebody's attention. You know, it's hard. There's a lot of options out there. Right. And hmm. uh, So that's how he stood out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, so you did you guys end up going out? We did, yeah. We went out for drinks. And okay. what was that like the first time you saw each other? It was nice. I mean, he seemed really nice, a little more soft-spoken than I would have thought. Oh, because okay. he, he was so bold and sarcastic yeah. when he's writing. That's interesting. You'd think he'd be cracking jokes the whole time. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, it was fun. He seemed like a really good guy. Um, he's interesting. He's in a band. Oh, oh, God, there's another red flag. Okay. okay. Where am so I? What's wrong with band people? Well, nothing. What nothing. band? Like, well, like why'd you shout red flag? I don't know. Just That's, musicians, yeah, you know? Yeah, they got like, a reputation. What's yeah. the reputation? Are you kidding? They're talented? No, um, Jeff. <laughs> No, we're oh. not talking about parody songs here. <laughs> yeah, oh, there's no yeah. red flag there. Okay? I, I think he's a keeper, man. Yeah. Don't Just let like, this one go. A singer, I see no problem. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's cool that he's in a band. Yeah, I thought it was cool. I really enjoyed the conversation. I thought we really got along. We even kissed at the end of the night. Whoa. Oh. Okay. And musicians never kiss girls yeah. randomly. <laughs> uh-uh. Wow. Okay. So what's happened since the date? I honestly just haven't really been able to get a hold of him. Oh. Is he ghosting you? Well, the I, irony that he's the one complaining yeah, about getting ghosted? True. And that's a weird thing. Like, he's, like, talking about how terrible the dating world so is. I just want to quickly correct myself. I'm not able to get a hold of him on the phone, but we are texting a little bit back and forth. Okay. okay. So he's not totally silent. Weird. I mean, the thing is, I have a lot of options. I have a lot of people asking me out. <laughs> but I wanted to give Doug a chance because I really enjoyed my time Aww. with him. So I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking maybe he does have a wife or. Right. Like, yeah. like there's always some truth in every joke, right? Maybe he's just so used to being ghosted. He doesn't know how to act around a woman who actually wants to be with him. She's like, let's go out again. He's like, don't mock me. Yeah. You know? Okay, I know. What? Yeah. I mean, I hope I didn't dox him by actually asking him to hang out again. <laughs> Wait a minute. What do I do now? <laughs> we'll find out. We'll come back, call him, and try and get you a second date update right after this. Second date update. If you're just joining us, we're on the phone with one of our listeners, May, who, in her own words, is a woman with lots and lots of other male (laughs) options online. I mean, so she's a woman. Yes. 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 Most women do. She is quite the woman. Her Bumble Hinge notifications are blowing up on the reg. But she's not thinking about all those other dudes thirsting after her and her pics. (laughs) She's thinking about one guy named Doug. Funny, simple, nice guy in a band, Doug, who went on one date with her and immediately got her attention. Mm -hmm. But now, for some reason afterwards, they can't seem to nail down a time to hang out again. Even though Doug went on and on about how terrible dating is for him. He can't meet a nice person. So weird, which, which has May worried that maybe he actually might be married. Right. Uh Because they joked about the woman in his profile pic being his wife. Maybe it wasn't so jokey after all. You know, it's one of those things where he's like, well, I told her. (laughs) (laughs) How mad would you be if we get him on the phone and he told you that actually is his wife? Oh. Oh. I would be pretty upset because I don't accept lying. Yeah. But do you know what? Not as upset as his wife would be. Yeah. (laughs) Well, I'm just trying to look at the positive here. Who would be angrier? Her or his wife? Yeah. (laughs) Maybe we'll find out in a couple minutes here. We may get a really angry text in. Wait yeah. a minute, is yeah. that my husband? Okay. <laughs> but no, let's just call Doug and see what he has to say. You ready? I am. Yeah, I'm okay. Ready. <laughs> Good job, Jeff. Here we go. Hello? Hey, is this Doug? Uh, yeah, this is Doug. Hey, Doug, you don't have to sound so skeptical. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Nothing sinister going on on our end. We're just a radio show hoping to talk to you. Yeah. Hey, Doug. What's up, bro? Hi. What's up? What's going on here? 
Yeah. What's going on is a segment we do called the Second Date Update, and you're going to be our featured star for the day. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't believe you, Doug. Yeah. He's honest. I He's think honest. you're more excited than you're letting on because we're trying to hook you up with one of our <laughs> listeners who you've already been out on a date with. And she just wants to see you one more time. Her name's May. Are you kidding me? No. Oh, oh, my. Oh, that uh, was a good surprise. Yeah, she sounds uh, darling. No. It sounds like you guys had a great time together. <sighs> Yeah. What's with all the noises, Doug? She's into you. That's that's a good thing. I thought dating was so hard for you. Like, this is like... You got one. Sounds like you guys know a lot about me. Yeah. Well, Mm -hmm. we've heard some stuff from you from May herself. Mm -hmm. We asked her to describe your date, and she had glowing reviews, honestly. She said you're really funny. And she thought your profile's funny, too. Oh, yeah. She talked about the profile. Yeah. Yeah, it came up. (laughs) Yeah. That you had a, a, a funny joke. About the girl in your picture? <laughs> well, yeah. we asked because we thought that the girl was a red flag. Yeah. yeah. You should change that. Once we yeah. clarified. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the reason why we're calling. We're not calling to criticize your dating profile stuff. It is fun, though. It, yeah. <laughs> we, we could, but no. <laughs> we're just a perk. We're really focused on May because she's really confused. She wants to see you. She feels like she's been reaching out trying to arrange a date, mm-hmm. and you keep avoiding her. Is she reading that right? I mean, she does keep suggesting nights, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah, that's, that's usually a- when you say, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Friday works great for me. Unless you're not into her or if there's some other problem. <sighs> or you're married. Yeah. Uh, the last two Friday nights, she, she asked to see my band. And, like, uh, she wants to come see me perform and, like, grab a drink afterwards. That's and, nice. Yeah. Uh, you have a show? Like, she's even interested in, like, your hobbies. Yeah. And, Why are you uh, saying like, huge. You're saying it like it's a bad thing. I don't, I don't, I don't. I didn't even know how to answer her. Like, what do you mean? You know, she was even asking for a one-on-one concert at my place. Oh, hey, oh wow. Hey. That's her flirting with you, Doug. Yeah. That means she wants to see you and probably <laughs> do more. like, I don't yeah. have lights and equipment <laughs> yeah. for this. I don't have a stage in my house. Too much pressure. Yeah. But you probably don't have to put on an entire <laughs> concert. She just is wanting yeah. to hang out. I don't think she cares about the music <laughs> quality. Yeah, she wants to make out with you, bro. Well, there's pressure when, like, she thinks that I know how to play guitar, you know? Like, I'm not really in a band. Like, I, what? I'm, not, I'm not really musical wait, at all. Wait, what? What you said you're, you're not in a band? Wait, you told her that you're in a band. Well, I needed something to sound cool, like, to make me stand oh, out. Oh, no, this is Oh, the my lie. God, dude. That's not what you chose? No. Yeah. <laughs> do something that you actually do. I'm sure there's something cool about you. <laughs> yeah, there's cool things about me. Like, but you got to have something to, like... Okay. Really sticks uh, out, you know. Uh, you're okay. just trying to stand well, out. Well, I mean, I get it. Like you're in a, it's a lot of pressure. You're having a hard time dating, like with the apps and stuff. You want to stand out, and then suddenly this lie is snowballing, is what it sounds like. Yeah, yeah and I really liked her, and I didn't know what to do, and cause she keeps asking me, like she oh wants on it. Oh my gosh, that makes so much sense. That's why you're not getting this date because she's asking based on the lie that you've told her that you're in a band and you're not. But that's a lot better lie than he yeah. was married. You know? <laughs> It really yeah, is. true. Yeah. That work I think is right. I mean, at least. It's kind of cute. You're trying to impress her, you know? And that, that's, a, that's a rough lie to go <laughs> with, know. though. Like, if you're not in a band, how are you ever going to prove that? He panicked, yeah. Jeff. Okay? It was yeah. the first well, thing I that just, came to mind. Is he going to go with that or be a Formula One race car driver? Okay. Oh, oh, look at the driver. <laughs> so, that is, now, that Wait, is sexy. No. Those jackets are really in style right now for girls to wear. Uh-huh. Oh, and a guy yeah. that like, lives dangerously yeah. on the racetrack. And no Americans watch, so you can say you're like from France. Wait, and they that's a good you. one. Why Dude. didn't you go with that one, bud? <laughs> Stop it, I you guys. At least I could have said I was in the off season right now. Yeah. 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 Just driving your Kia around <laughs> in the right. off season, you know? Hi, I've heard enough. Oh. Oh, oh you have? Yeah. What? 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 Oh. <laughs> yeah, Doug, uh, if, you, if you didn't know, that's May, who's been listening on the other line right now. Hey, You're being honest now, whether you wanted to or not. Yeah, mm-hmm. she knows. Uh, look, I'm I'm sorry. Like, I, you were, just, like, so pretty and, like, cool. And, like, I just, Aww. I wanted you to like me. I just, I, I felt like I, I, I had to say something cool, you know. That's really sweet. But also, we spent half of the time on our first date talking about your band. Oh, oh no. Wow. Doug. That's a lot, bro. Here's the thing, though. Like, immediately after our date, like, I signed up for piano lessons. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Does piano you count in a band? Yeah, sure. Yeah, there's keyboards. keyboards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Not quite as sexy. Usually the yeah. least sexy of a band right. is the keyboardist, yeah. but, you know. But, didn't you say you played guitar in the band, though, Doug? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, but the guitar lessons were more expensive. Uh. <laughs> oh. Okay, you remember the At cheaper. Point, he's like, right. I'm going to play the triangle. So, hey, May, doesn't, do? May, do you feel like you know anything about him? I know, like, a couple things about where he grew up. and Look, it was just the band thing. Like, everything else was real. Did you hear that? Everything else he said was real, like the wife in his photos. No, 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 no. that was a no. joke, Jeff. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, not that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Everything else except for that. I don't need any big fancy career or any, you know, super impressive hobby. I'm just looking for a really genuine, funny person. Yeah, Are and besides, like... Doug, do you know that when she told us about the band, Alexis and I were both like, red flag. It's true. Red flag. It was a bad oh. You can't trust a guy in a yeah. band. Apparently you can't trust a guy not in a band. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and girls yeah. always love bad boys in bands. I know. Yeah. But not for long, would my you, friend. Would you honestly have been interested in him if he did not say he was in a band? Yeah, the thing that attracted me to him was his humor and that he was funny. Oh, well, did he okay. come up with See? a good band name? Maybe he had a funny band name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> did he tell you? Yeah, that? he did say it was called Chicken Noodle Soup. Chicken Noodle, Chicken noodle oh, Soup. That's, oh, I like it. <laughs> At the very least, May, just talking to him now, he seems like a nice, sincere guy. He is coming clean. Yeah. And, Doug, I, I'm going to give you 20 seconds here to say your final piece before we offer to send you guys out on a date. What do you want to say to May? I just, I should have been up front. I'm super sorry. If you give me a second chance, like I'll just, anything you want to know, straight, honest truth. And I'll be my goofy, normal self. And you can either like me for that or not. Oh, that's a good pitch. Plus, we're going to offer to pay to send you guys out on another date, May. So what do you say? I will say that I do not like liars. Mm. And I also am very attracted to people who are super secure with themselves and who they are. Oh. However, I oh. really enjoy talking to you, and so I will give you a second chance. Oh. Hey. Oh, I feel okay. like you didn't need to mention this first I point. <laughs> I think she's setting boundaries. Oh, she's okay. setting boundaries. Yeah. Okay, so it's a pity yes? <laughs> no, I see. No, it's a yes. I want to go on a second okay. date. Okay. No. okay. okay. So roundabout way to say she's so excited to see you again, yeah. Doug. She, awesome. she can't wait to hear your first piano lesson once you figure it out. Oh yeah. Man, you have no idea having this lie off my back how less stress I feel. Oh, oh, that's really sweet. We can get together on Friday if you want. Oh, oh. now you're free. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 Piano lessons are weekdays. <laughs> <laughs> and your wife's cool with that, Doug? <laughs> <laughs> yes, my wife. Yeah. <laughs> 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 funny guy. Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. Well, that may be the first self-admitting outright liar on our show that our listeners were actually rooting for. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's Because well he's said. just so sweet, yeah. you know, and like yeah. earnest. He was really earnest about the whole thing. You can tell he really was just like so nervous because he liked her so much. Mm-hmm. Just he had to make himself. up an excuse. Yeah. It just goes to show if you lie and you do get caught, try to sound as pathetic and helpless <laughs> as you possibly can. And people will feel so bad for you that they'll actually be on your oh. team. You're not or, wrong. Or just have a good apology. That's oh, what he had you oh. to. God. <laughs> he, he wasn't pathetic. He even won over Brooke, which is hard for any man to do, yeah. even the non liars. Yeah. So <laughs> good for him. Good on him. Make sure to hit up our YouTube, TikTok, our Instagram, at Brooke and Jeffrey to see clips from our show so you can lie to your next date and oh, say that you're no. one of us. No. Don't oh, say that. And they'll believe you. I'm Brooke. <laughs> I buy it. I don't yeah, know if you'd get me... more dates with that, though. <laughs> one of us, maybe. But anyway, you can always listen. Listen to our show up on our podcast, wherever you get yours, at Brooke and Jeffrey. (laughs) Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. No one likes to talk about money. Am I saving enough? Can I buy a house? Am I paying too much in taxes? Will I be able to retire? What if you could unlock insights about your finances in less than five minutes with a clear picture of where you stand today and where your money can work harder? Now you can. Visit facet.com to take the free quiz and get your financial wellness score today. That's F-A-C-E-T dot com. This ad is sponsored by Facet. Facet Wealth Incorporated is an SEC registered investment advisor. This is not an offer to buy or sell securities, nor is it investment, legal, or tax advice. At Ford, we pride ourselves on building strong, capable vehicles. But we're only as strong as the people who drive them. People like you. Who don't just see an F-150, but see what they can build with it. Because built Ford proud, it's a pact. Between us, our drivers and what we can do together. Build Ford Proud. 
Some models, trims, and features may not be available or may be subject to change. Introducing Uber Teen Accounts, an Uber account for your teen with always-on enhanced safety features. Your teen can request a ride when you can't take them. You'll get real-time notifications along the way. Your teen can feel a sense of independence. You can follow their entire route on a live tracking map. Your teen will get assigned to the top-rated drivers. Thank you. You will get peace of mind. Add your teen to your Uber account today. Available in select locations. See app for details.